net operating loss. Let's see what we've got here. This is something again you'll see on reg, but it pops up a little bit here in FAR as well. Well, net operating loss, we know we kind of have carry forward, carry back rules, right? We think about this in reg if you've seen that. So if tax deductions are greater than taxable revenues, then a net operating loss arises. Now, maybe the company didn't really actually have a loss, but for tax purposes, you can take a loss. Net loss or operating loss pertain to financial accounting. Net operating loss can be calculated from net loss. You must record separately net operating loss and net loss. So this net operating loss is specifically for tax purposes. You see here net loss or operating loss. These are financial accounting terms. This is our tax term, net operating loss, NOL. Subtle but important difference, right? This is financial accounting. When we talk about net operating loss, this is what's going to be reported. How are we going to report that? How are we going to deal with that? That's what I'm here to display for you. The rules of application for these net operating loss. And again, you might have seen this in reg, but this is for financial purposes. Net operating loss for each tax year is computed. The net operating loss of one year can be applied to offset taxable income in other years, possibly resulting in tax refunds. You can carry these back and carry forward. So you carry back two years, carry forward 20 years, or carry forward 20 years. Um, I would just kind of memorize the Treatments here, the number of years you can carry forward and back. This could get confusing if you just took reg, but this is specific for our uh, corporate accounting, our financial accounting, FAR, FASB, GAAP.